friends, Argentina here with the game of Argentine Tango, and we are taking a moment to answer some of the most common questions that we get from our students and also that we get asked online. Today's question is, how can I practice the tango alone? Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. We laugh. We have thoughts. <laughs> because, <laughs> yes. One of our chief thoughts is that we developed the game of Argentine Tango, which you can find at gameoftango.com. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's free. You get to learn tango for free. We uh, developed it during the, the pandemic because we felt, uh, both in ourselves and uh, among our friends and in the tango community, that there was this pent-up demand, well, I can't dance anymore, what can I do? Mm -hmm. So we developed a course that's about a year's worth of lessons, mm -hmm. eight hours of video, 110 lessons, all broken down to bite-sized pieces that gives explorations, experiences, where we guide you in terms of how to do it and also how to assess yourself while you're doing it. And the beauty of this is this is meant to be done at the convenience of your own home. So we use everyday things around your house, like your countertops, the walls, doorways, couches, things like that, to aid you in these explorations on how to improve your tango. Um, but let's say in a broader sense, how can one practice tango alone? Okay. One that you love to do is just simply put on tango music. Have it on. What your body feels like doing, go with it. Explore. See what the music tells you um, to do in that moment. And the beauty of doing it by yourself is you don't have to worry about if you mess up or if that wasn't the best you know, thing that you wanted to do. You can do it again. Nobody's there to judge you. It's great. <laughs> and you can practice with what we call your perfect partner, which is the air. <laughs> they never make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> they never chide us for not doing something right. So believe it or not, for a partner dance, we actually encourage a lot of solo work, um, whether it be both to music and without music as well. I would hope, we would hope that uh, a person that loves music and loves dancing will simply enjoy dancing to music. When you have an opportunity, it's on in the background, maybe you can't do it in the car, <laughs> but at the office, maybe you take a moment. Even when I, I park in the parking lot, I, I have music playing in my head <laughs> and I walk with that tango walk. Love it. Finding ways to include your tango in everyday life as you're walking through parking lots, the grocery store, standing there doing dishes at the kitchen sink. That's a great way to practice stability, practice your adornos, you know. So you can find lots of places and opportunities to practice tango. We encourage you to actually do so. Because repetitive approaches, hitting this thing that you want to learn on a daily basis is definitely going to be the key to consistent progress. Uh, So-called 10,000 hours to mastery uh, could seem like a huge, insurmountable chore. However, it's incredible how much can be accomplished when we just work things in throughout our daily life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how can you practice tango alone? Look for opportunities to do so every chance that you get. Join us over at gameoftango.com. We will give you a ton of ways to practice your tango alone and we just think it's a matter of looking for and finding opportunities to incorporate it throughout your daily life. So, well, we hope to see you at thegameoftango.com. And until then, abrazos. abrazos.